I'm so excited to talk to you this morning about the shepherds. A couple of Christmases ago, I was reading in my Bible in the Gospel of Luke, the account of what happened to the shepherds the night Jesus was born. And although I'd read it hundreds of times before, there are a few words that just stuck in my mind. It says this, nearby, that's near where Jesus had just been born, the shepherds were living in the fields with their sheep and watching over them by night. The shepherds actually lived in the fields. I guess they pitched their tents and were there pretty much day and night watching over the sheep. And so I wondered what kind of life that must have been. And what happened when it started to get dark and cold? Did a few shepherds sit around a fire like this and tell stories together? Did they look up at the night sky, at the wonder of the stars? But all that was about to change. Their lives may have seemed very ordinary, but one night changed all of that. And not just for those shepherds, but for all of us. That one night, as they looked up at the stars, they saw not just stars, but a brilliant light as an angel of the Lord appeared before them. And the glory of the Lord shone all around them. And they were terrified. They were grown men. They were strong men. They were used to living in the fields. I dare say they'd fought off a few wild animals that tried to come and steal their sheep and yet the glory and the presence and the brilliance of heaven invading earth made them terrified. Well the angel said to them don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because this is good news and good news not just for the shepherds but for all of us because Jesus the Son of God had been born. Emmanuel, God with us, the rescuer, the long-awaited Messiah had come. The one who came to save us from the darkness, from the sin that spoils us and ruins our relationship with God. Jesus had come so that we could have new life, restored friendship with God. And then in case that was too much to take in, in case when the angel had gone, the shepherds might have thought they were hallucinating or dreaming, the angel gave them a really practical sign, a practical thing to do. Go and find out if what I'm saying is true. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger, an animal's feeding trough. And then, as if that wasn't amazing enough, the sky was filled with angels singing praises to God. Some of you know that over the last few months I've done quite a bit of reading about revival. And one of the things that's really surprised me is the talk about heavenly singing. Whether it's in um, Azusa Street in America, or in the Welsh Revival, or the Outer Hebrides, there are these testimonies of sudden outbursts of heavenly singing. One elderly gentleman who was interviewed in the Outer Hebrides said that he had never heard anything like it before and never heard anything like it since. It was so beautiful that he didn't have the words to describe it, but he was just longing to hear that heavenly music again. I don't know about you, but I love our modern worship and I love the feeling of God's presence as we join together in worship, but I've never heard heavenly singing and I would really love to, wouldn't that be amazing? But then the angels all left and went back into heaven and the shepherds had an important decision to make. You see, they could have just carried on sitting around their fire discussing amongst themselves the incredible thing they'd just experienced. But the angels were just the fanfare. If you like, they were the warm-up act. And if the shepherds had done that, they risked missing the main thing. 
they risk missing meeting the King of Kings, the one who made the stars. So they had to decide, would they take the risk? Would they leave their sheep, their livelihood? And would they go to see if what the angel said was true? I am so glad that those shepherds took the risk. Can you imagine their joy when they arrived on the scene and found it exactly as the angels had said? The baby Jesus lying in the manger wrapped in strips of cloth. I don't know, but I imagine all the shepherds could do would be to fall on their knees and worship Jesus. And then with their hearts so full of joy, off they went to find as many people as they could and to tell them the wonderful good news that Jesus, the Messiah, the rescuer, had been born. Some of us have a decision to make this Christmas. Are we going to take the risk and investigate and find out if what we've heard about Jesus is true. Some of us have already done that and already found Jesus to be our rescuer. But even we are in danger of missing out at Christmas, of getting so caught up in the fanfare, in the tinsel and the lights and the trees and the presents, which are all wonderful things, but not the main thing. Are we this Christmas going to remember Jesus who left the glory of heaven to come and to be our rescuer so that we can be restored to friendship with God? And will we, like the shepherds, fall on our knees and worship Jesus and carry the good news to the people we meet?